feels great to be back. Um, you know, I had a, about a month off after my season in Australia, so I was just itching to get back here. <laughs> so last year, and kind of ended on a low note in Indiana. Is that a motivating factor for uh, this season, just to? I would say absolutely. Um, you know, we all had a bad taste in our mouths um, at the way we ended the season. So, you know, I, I would take that as motivation. I'm sure the rest of the girls are doing the same um, to get back in here and just get better and um, keep on shooting for the stars. There's been a lot of talk today about your speed and how you're able to beat your teammates in scrimmages. Uh, what, have you focused on quickness or your role changed with uh, Wiggins gone and now you kind of taking over in that spot? spot? Um. I wouldn't say so. I think um, I just want to stick to the things that I do well um, and the things that got me here. And uh, obviously, you know, I might have to be playing a little bit more one this season. So that's um, that would entail controlling the tempo of the game. So you will have to be quicker um, at times and sometimes slow it down. So, um, yeah. Coach was saying that, that recognition of when to use that speed and when right. to kind of set the tempo is something that only comes with time. Is that the process for you as well? Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, being able to watch an Olympian like Lindsey Whalen helps a lot too. <laughs> I mean, but it must be hard when you come in knowing you're probably faster than most people. It must be hard to kind of put the brakes on <laughs> Yeah, yeah, at times it is. You know, you kind of see an opening and, um, you know, you want to take it. But, you know, that might not be the best decision for the team at that point. Um, you know, like Coach said, it comes with time. And, um, you know, being able to look um, up to a veteran point guard like Lindsey Whalen, it helps me a lot. You know, I'm able to kind of mimic her a lot. And, um, you know, she's a master of, um, you know, controlling the tempo of the game. And um, that's something I want to get better at. You know, a uh, coach was saying that she sees you playing a lot of one, two, and three this year in smaller and smaller lineups. In terms of your mindset, where do you think your natural position is? Um, I, I would say I'm a natural two. Um, but, you know, I've been able to be adjustable. And, you know, for the sake of the team, you know, I want to fill any role that is going to help us win and um, be the best team in the WNBA. So. Was, was it tough to take a step back in minutes when, from your first year to your second year? Or was that part of the process just to kind of learn what was going on with this league? Because this team was obviously, you know, taking steps up. Right. You know, I think it was part of the process. Um, you know, my first year was an odd year. And um, kind of as a rookie, you know, I got great experience. Um, I was able to play a lot and, you know, learn a lot, but kind of learn the hard way. You know, learn um, from trial and error. And then, you know, being able to kind of learn um, a different way my second year by watching and kind of not making the same mistakes that people were out there making was a lot better for me, um, I would say. Well, could you uh, discuss the training camp of Lindsay Morrison? Oh, she's been awesome. You know, she's been really awesome, and she's a, a, a point guard, a true point guard, and very skilled. You know, very skilled, and you, you would look at her, and you wouldn't think um, that that fearless individual is stepping out into the court with you. But when she steps out in between these lines, like, you know, she's awesome. Um, she's able to control the tempo um, of the white team. Uh, you know, she um, is able to score at will, you know. We got a lot of great shooters on our <laughs> our training camp this year. You know, you should see the scrimmages. They're awesome. We're lighting it up. Um, but, you know, I've been very impressed with her. So are there any things that you're going to be able to teach her? Like, how do you use your speed? Yeah, she has speed, though. You know, I might not. And that's something you can't really teach. You know, you either have it or you don't, and she has it. <laughs> you also had the chance to uh, train Sugar Rogers for a little while uh, during the offseason. How has that manifested in this camp? I wasn't training her. I was just working out with her with another trainer. And, you know, it kind of built a great relationship, you know, being able to work out with her before. I didn't really know her that well, but I knew of her, and she played for, you know, the same um, AAU team that I played for when I was in high school, and her college coach um, was my coach when I was, like, 14. So, um, you know, we knew a lot of the same people, but actually getting to know her, you know, she's a sweetheart. You know, I look at her as, like, a, a little sister, and it's been an honor to have her here in Minnesota with me. <laughs> I was talking with Roger Grip, and he said part of the reason that we had a training Candace Wiggins and they they felt or they hoped that you were willing to step up and take more minutes. Is that, is that to bring some confidence to you? And how do you feel you can step into that role? Oh, absolutely. You know, anytime you hear that, you know, from somebody who isn't like on the team, um, and someone in Roger's position, you know, it definitely gives you a lot of confidence. And, um, you know, like I said before, you know, that, that just, you know, shows um, that they have confidence in what I do well and what got me here. And that's what I plan to um, keep doing. What do you hope to demonstrate that we haven't seen I would just say um, a veteran leadership role, kind of um, like mid-veteran. You know, I'm not a full veteran yet, but, you know, kind of a uh, – you'll see, you know, more for me in terms of, like, under control, being under, under control and a lot smarter. And um, we just see an older, more experienced Monica.
Our dog food bake sounds still stimulating for you. Oh, you had to go back to that. It's just, I can't shake it. You know, I have dogs and, you know, you didn't have to go there, though. You didn't have to go there, but it's, I understand. <laughs> what else have you been focusing on to kind of strengthen yourself and kind of better yourself uh, from 2012 to now? Um, you know, I, I always go back to this, my faith in God. You know, that's some, something I can't, you know, shake. You know, it's something that I have to go back to. I kind of need it every single day, um, and I need that foundation. So, you know, that would be, like, the only thing that is helping me be better as a person from 2012. It's Maybe God. You speak of your faith. Could you let us know what your favorite scripture verse is? Oh, man, my favorite. Uh, the one that has the most meaning for you. I would say... Um, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind it um, or write it on the tablet of your heart. And, what, and which reference is that? It's in Psalms. Yeah. And how do you think that helps you kind of weather through last year's loss when Minnesota was the favorite to win getting through this uh, phase? I would say it would just like help me to put things in perspective and understand that it all is a learning process. And no matter, you know, what the outcome, there's always some good that can come for, from it. And God takes everything and makes it for the good of his glory. So. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. <laughs>